Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be part three of my declutter series featuring all of my lipstick products. As I mentioned in my previous video, this declutter series is going to be the most difficult and most time consuming because I own so many lipstick products. It's just surprising to me when I was going through it how much I've collected throughout the years. So it was definitely time to take a look at each one of them and see if I really like them or if I actually like used it or if it's just like too old and I don't know why I'm holding on to it. So it was a perfect uh, opportunity for me to really cut down my lipstick collection to something that I really enjoy. So if you're interested in watching me declutter all my lipstick products, please keep watching. Now let's finally move on to some lip products. I've been saving this for part two because there's so many. I think I have an addiction, but let's get through this. So first one I have here is Hymish, and this I think it's a Korean brand, and it is a cream lip palette. This is not that great, honestly. So um, this is a declutter. Another thing that I'm going to get rid of is this water tint by Etude House. And while I know a lot of people like water tints, it's just not my thing, so I'm just going to let this go. Alright, here we have, let's see, next thing I'm going to get rid of is this Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the shade Potion. I was really excited about this because I love the formula of their liquid lipsticks, but their lip gloss is just, I don't know just too sticky and it just stays sticky so I just need to let this go. Next up we have here is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade AutoCorrect. So um, this is probably kind of like my fault because I thought that I could rock more of this peachy brown lip but I really cannot. And <laughs> Uh, this is a newer purchase, so this is why I've been really hesitant to let this go, but, you know, I just haven't worn it since I found out I don't match it very well, so I have to let this go. This has to be decluttered. Next, we have, let's go on to more ColourPop. This is the Ultra Satin Lip in oh, November. This is a lovely shade, and it's, unlike their Ultra Matte Lips, this is a little more, it looks creamy and... It doesn't super dry out your lips and you know this is such a nice color so I'm going to keep this. Next here we have is the NYX Butter Lipstick. I got this in an Ipsy bag. I just did not like the formula very much and it was just the staying power is not there so I'm going to have to get rid of this. Next up we have is this Tartus Glossy Lip Paint in the shade Woman Crush Wednesday. This is a really nice a red color with a hint of shimmer, but I have a lot of other reds that I like, so I'm going to declutter this. Here's another mini, and it's the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Notion. So I have the lippy stick version of this, and I really haven't had a chance to really play around with this, so I really want to give it a chance, so I'm going to keep this. Next we have is this e.l.f. I think it's a lip, like a lip cream, and it's in the shade Natural, and I don't know why I'm holding on to this, but this is completely broken, so um, yeah, this whole thing just like completely detached from the case itself, so sadly I'm going to have to let this go. Right now we have here is a NYX Cosmic Metals and the shade Speed of Light. So the reason why I bought this is because like metallic lips are kind of trending and I guess I thought I'd hop on that train but I just haven't reached for it a lot and I guess it's kind of like a lesson learned, you know. Don't always fall for the hype because it just might not last so I'm gonna declutter this. Next we have here is the NYX Liquid Suede in the shade kitten heels. So this one right here, I don't know, it's a really beautiful true red shade, but I find that the staying power is just not there, and I have other reds that can last all day, so I'm going to have to let this go. 
My next hair we have is the Buxom Cosmetics, the Full On Lip Cream in White Russian. This is a newer purchase, and I just this is probably one of the more lip glosses that I do like, so I'm going to keep it. Here's another Buxom Cosmetics. Um, this is a wildly whipped lightweight liquid lipstick. This is also in the shade White Russian as part of their White Russian collection. This is um, a really pretty color. It's a great alternative to the Kat Von D liquid lipstick and Muñeca. So this is definitely a keep. Since we're on the topic, um, this is the shade Muñeca. This was in my fail. It's part of my favorites video. And like I said, this Buxom one is a great, not an exact dupe, but it's pretty close enough. And this is a lot better than this. So. Sally, this has to go. Alright, here's one that I've just been, I don't know, just been really scratching my head over. This is the Kylie Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Posy, and this is the um, liner that comes with it. I've been debating about throwing this away for a long time just because I don't reach for it anymore, and I have other lipsticks in my collection that has a much better formula than this. It smells like candy, but not like in an appetizing kind of way and you know I think I just bought this just because of the hype over at Kylie Cosmetics at the time so I think I'm gonna finally let myself let this one go sadly enough. So I'm gonna do all the Kat Von D ones together. These are all a keep just because I love all these shades. They each have their own purpose and the formula is just amazing. So these are going to be in my keep pile. Next up we have our my newer Anastasia Beverly Hills shades. And a couple of old ones. I'm going to keep all of these just because I just love Anastasia Beverly Hills. And although I do have a couple of unique colors that I typically don't reach for, but these are just so pretty and when I do want to change things up, I do reach for these too. And the others here are just really pretty and I just can't bring myself to let these go. Plus the formula is great and these last all day, so these are all a keep. Let's move on to my ColourPop stuff. These made it to my favorites because I think these are my favorite formula out of their other, um, other stuff in their lipstick collection. So these are definitely a keep. Last week we have just a couple more. Um, this is the Buxom Cosmetics Widely Whipped Soft Matte Lip Color in Centerfold. Um, this is pretty much an empty, so I'm going to declutter it, but I will keep the shade in mind when I do want to repurchase it. Next we have here is the Lord & Berry Matte Crayon Lipstick. I don't really know the shade. Um, I'm just not a fan of lip crayons. I'm a lips I'm a liquid lipstick kind of girl, so I'm gonna let this go. Same goes with this Trustique Mini Matte Lip Crayon in the shade Belize for Door. Yeah, same reasoning. I'm just not a fan of the whole crayon lipstick kind of thing. It is a really beautiful shade though, I'll give it that. The last one we have here is a Cartiste Lip Paint in the shade Delish. Delish. <laughs> um, this is a mini sample size, but this is, I love this shade and um, I haven't been given Tarte a chance yet, but I might after trying this one out. So this is definitely a keep. So here is my current situation right now. It is definitely a lot more organized than it was before. So I decided to let my brushes and my skincare items out near the sink area. I'm kind of scared like the water splashing on these so I might have to reconsider this part but this is what it's going to look like for now. And then here we have above um, more cabinet space. Unfortunately this is kind of sticking out so I might have to purchase a different three drawer um, container. So um, this is just gonna be temporary, but yeah, this is where all my lipsticks are and then where my eyeshadows and eye products are. And then down here will be my um, primers and foundation and more face products. I think like when I do my makeup more, I might just like easily just take this out so it's easily accessible. 
Here's just like a random brush and my Kat Von D brush that is kind of awkward to put anywhere else. And here is where I'm laying all my palettes. Previously, I don't know why, I had them like from um, laying flat, which was really difficult to access to. So this is definitely a lot easier. So I can just like pull them out when I need to. Here's kind of more miscellaneous stuff. Um, I'm almost, this is almost out, so which is why I'm kind of keeping it out to kind of remind myself to use it up so I can throw it away. Um, here is my sunscreen kind of out here so I don't forget to wear it. And my beauty blender and some hair ties for my daughter. And then um, a Sephora sample size. I'm leaving this out so, like I said, so I don't forget to use it up. And I'm almost done with this makeup spray, so again, leaving it out so I make sure to use it. So that's pretty much it. Um, it's definitely a lot more organized than it was before. It's a complete mess. So I'm really glad I did this decluttering. Whew. Yep. So that's it. So that was it for my lipstick declutter. I was actually really relieved after getting rid of all the things that I don't use anymore. So I highly recommend that you uh, go through a declutter just because yeah, you feel bad letting things go that you spent your hard-earned money on, but at the same time, it's not doing you any favors of keeping it around if you're not going to use it. So might as well just throw it away. So you have like a collection that you actually enjoy and a collection that you actually know where things are because there are some things that I didn't even know I had <laughs> just because I've forgotten about it. So anyway, please don't forget to subscribe. I upload every single Wednesday, so don't miss out on that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.